Hey, what's up guys? This is Keith and you're watching Barbara's Auto Help. I recently replaced the spark plugs on my 2005 Honda Odyssey 3.5 liter and this is what I took out. Uh, I got those spark plugs right there which look normal and they're a little ashy and look a little hot but uh, I pulled this one spark plug out of one of my cylinders here and you can see that the porcelain is blasted away and it's caked up with carbon and white ashy stuff. So what I believe is going on is I have a condition called pre-ignition going on and also detonation. Now pre-ignition and detonation are two different things but they are very similar and they act kind of similar too. Now pre-ignition is caused by something getting really hot inside the combustion chamber say a flake of carbon um, or maybe a, a metal surface getting really hot and pre-igniting the air fuel mixture before it's actually supposed to be ignited by the spark coming through the spark plug. Um, in this case on my vehicle I believe that I probably have some flakes of carbon that are overheating and glowing inside the combustion chamber causing pre-ignition. Uh, I also believe I have detonation going on too caused by the same thing by carbon, excessive carbon buildup, but detonation is not caused by a, a, a hot object within the combustion chamber is caused by the actual combustion chamber temperatures uh, exceeding what they're supposed to be and the way that carbon buildup causes that is it increases the compression ratio and overheats the air fuel mixture and it spontaneously combusts because it gets to the combustion temperature so I, like I said, I think I got both of them going on. Uh, usually your, your detonation will cause things to blow apart like uh, porcelain on spark plugs and maybe blow a hole in the piston or, or something else. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get a bore scope and I'm going to look down in this particular cylinder here that I pulled the spark plug out of and see what I've got. And uh, if I, I do have indeed excessive carbon buildup, I plan on doing an extensive intake cleaning to clear that up and possibly solve this before it becomes more of a problem. Now there's a root cause to this and I believe that the root cause is probably a leaking valve guide uh, or valve seal and it's, it's consuming oil on this one cylinder here. It, it could be some other things but I haven't really gone into it but that's my number one suspicion on this. Alright let's go ahead and get into it guys. Alright let's see if we can get down in that uh spark plug hole there and look at the top of that piston it's kind of hard to do by feel come on there we go oh yeah and look at the top of that that thing is just filthy and you see I got a looks like I got a big deposit right over here where the piston meets the the cylinder bore and I got flakes of it everywhere let's see here Oh yeah, that's looking really kind of nasty back that way. Let's see, wow, that, that thing's just caked up with some carbon. Look at that. Looks like the surface of the moon there. So yeah, I, I think I was right uh, about that uh, pre-ignition uh, being caused caused by those carbon flakes. See all those little white white-tipped pieces of carbon, if you will. Um, what happens is whenever they get hot they start to glow and instead of the spark uh, igniting the air fuel mixture them things right there will get so hot that it will actually ignite it prematurely and cause a lot of clattering and and uh, and that's what blew apart my spark plug <laughs> took the porcelain right off the tip there so I'm gonna go ahead and uh, do an extensive intake cleaning and see if I can get that stuff off there and then look at it again once it cools back down and see what we got. All right, guys, what I'm going to be doing is uh, misting some throttle body slash intake cleaner through the throttle body while my wife has it uh, running, and she's going to be operating the gas pedal to keep it alive. This is a fly-by-wire throttle body, so the only way to really give it some gas if you need to keep it alive is to have somebody operating the gas pedal. Whatever you do, whatever product you use, uh, do use intake throttle body cleaner and uh, make sure you use it in accordance with the instructions given by the manufacturer of that product. All right, here we go.
Give it a little bit more gas, baby. of you are wondering what in the world cleaning the intake and the throttle body have to do with cleaning the carbon on top of the pistons well when you miss that chemical through there while the vehicle's running that chemical is not only going to clean your throttle body and your intake it's also going to get on the tops of those cylinders or the pistons and it's going to clean the tops of the pistons too all right so let's see what we got here i've let it cool down a good bit there just took a picture and let's get down in that hole there oh wow Man, that's actually better than I thought it was going to be. Wow, check that out. Really, just a huge difference. You can actually see metal. <laughs> now, it's not all gone, but uh, that's a drastic improvement, guys. That's, that really, really took out a bunch of that. It doesn't look like the surface of the moon anymore, or like the, the surface of Venus, actually. Uh, wow, I, I'm, I'm just actually uh, very impressed with just how well that intake cleaner did. So I think we hit the nail on the head with this one, guys. Um, let me know if you have any questions. And also, please read the entire description about this video uh, before you apply any of this knowledge. Also, please like, subscribe, all that good stuff. And like I said, ask if you have any questions. I appreciate it, guys. Thank you for watching.